Hey everybody, welcome back for another episode here on the South American map. We're going to do some harvesting. But first of all, we're going to get a, an employee going here. We're just going to hire him right off the bat to get that combine going. And then we're going to talk about some new tractors on the farm. You can see just a hit to one over there. But anyway, we got this dude's far here. This is my new planting tractor and it also does most of my carting work because this tractor will get up to uh, about 39 miles an hour or 37 kilometers per hour and then back here is my main tillage tractor which also does a little bit of seeding and a little bit of whatever else that I need for pretty high horsepower so that's the New Holland T8 and this is the uh, cultivator from the horse pack so we'll take a look at that quick. See here's the Dutes Far Series 9, 336 horsepower. The T8 is 435 horsepower. And if we go over here... Alrighty, this is the Horse Joker 12RT. It's 12.2 meters wide and requires 360 horsepower to pull it. And then I have my two seaters here. This one I was playing around with corn and sunflowers, but I did that previously, and that's how I was able to afford the Dutzfar. And then I have this one here, which is my primary one, which I use for all my grains. And the, and the soybeans currently. But anyway, back to business here. The combine's getting along. Got this one here. What else did we get that's new? Uh, the Massey Ferguson is over there that I used previously for all of my tillage and planting. Uh, oh, yes, this is another horse pack item. This here, this uh, fertilizer spreader. I like it, but I mean, it works good. I'm happy with it. I can't complain. I don't know where I was going with that. I like it. But anyway, let's get along here. Oh. Our combine. There it is. That's filling up nicely. Our soybeans here are doing all right. So we'll let things get going here a little bit. Jump over here to the Dutz far. And let's see what we actually have here. If we go. This is what I have. I have fields 7 and 8 are combined, 6 and 2 are combined, 3 will eventually get combined with 4 and 5. Then I have field 1 over here. Field 14 is ready to harvest with the sugar cane again. But that'll be when we get around to that in another episode. So actually right now I have quite a bit of sunflowers and that price isn't bad. That soybeans price is actually pretty good, and I think we'll jump over to the semi, and let's do, let's take a look again. Soybeans are crashing pretty quick, so are those. We're going to go with sunflowers, because they're a bit closer. So we'll fill up the semi here with sunflowers get it started so it's warming up real good for us I do wish this filled a little bit faster but it'll do it'll do I think it'll keep filling if I jump out yep this is the BSM trailer mod I do like this quite a bit it holds 70,000 liters and it's got an attacher on the back so I can hook two of these together if I really get anxious but on this map there's only one place where I can pull two of these in to unload. Otherwise, you got to unhook one, back it in, hook up to the next one, back it in. It, it's just a bunch of shuffling things around. And then this truck is another mod. It's the uh, Kenworth W900 mod. I really like it. I didn't like the BSM truck mod. But we better get going here, otherwise we'll miss our price. And we'll skip through this. I'll uh, catch you again when we're at the bakery. Alrighty, so we're just about here at the bakery. I'm gonna get this truck backed in. And then, I believe pretty quickly here, 
our combine's going to need to be unloaded, so we might just have to ditch the truck here. That's not my favorite thing to do, but if we get a message that the combine's at 80%, we are going to have to run and get the dudes far up to the combine so we can keep that rolling. Should get pretty money, pretty good money from this still. It was eh, not so great, but eh, it's better than nothing. And this will give us a bit more money because I would like to buy two more fields coming up here. But we'll see how it goes. I was looking at that big field. We'll take a look here. Uh, too far. 29. But that's like 900,000. So it's going to be a little while. I think four and five are more within reason for us right now. So we're just about done here. And then we're going to take off as fast as we can back to the farm. Glad we got some money there. We'll see what we got. $178,000 for selling sunflowers. That is wonderful, I tell you what. That is going to help a lot, especially with all these soybeans coming in. And I see the combine is still going, so we'll, we'll get up here. We'll jump out of the truck. We'll jump in the dudes far like we're racing here, and we'll get it started up. And maybe, if we let it finish its pass here... No. Nope won't do it. I thought we'd get that auger on the right side, but it's not happening for us this time around. So we'll... I don't have the mod on for crop destruction right now. But we'll get this loaded in here and hopefully we'll fill it up this one time. We'll, f well, we'll dump the combine this one time, we'll dump it again and then we'll just send the combine right over to the next field because I think uh, the auger wagon here will be full, and we got to get the semi back too. And I'm trying to keep the combine going without stopping. That, that's my biggest goal right now. So far, yeah, over 10,000 liters off this field, I think, is what we're going to get. Probably close to 12,500, if I remember what the combine holds. So, I'm guessing around 28,000 liters of... soybeans off of here which would be wonderful because it ends up being money and that's what makes the game go around just like the world and then as soon as that combine gets a little farther ahead we'll let the T8 loose in there I do like how the T8 sounds in the game I have noticed that there is a glitch with this map and I hope that they do fix it soon but I don't know that they are I've heard rumors that Giant is working on it, but I haven't seen any proof that they have been working on it, as far as like an update or anything. But when it rains, you don't see the rain. It just kind of shows that it's raining and you can kind of hear it. So like my soybeans were ready to go and I was expecting to get out here with the combine and start making this video here, but it turned out that I couldn't because you can't thresh in the rain. Get up here and actually have to set our. There we go. Oh, wrong button. Get up here and set our cruise control, or we can run up alongside the combine with this. I do like this dude's far. It looks great, I think, in my opinion. And oops, I got in the combine's way. Anyway, I do like how it looks. And I like that it's a pretty fast tractor, whereas if you went with the Fent, I do really like the fence, but the Fent is like 50 horsepower less, so when you have a full cart on it, it has a harder time getting up to that 39 miles an hour, which is really, really nice to have when you're trying to, to run and run and run and get a lot done quick. Looks like we're running out of light here, because it's getting late in the game. So... I mean, that's all right. We'll just work with our headlights. I think the combine is far enough ahead now that we can also get the T8 rolling here. So we'll get the dudes far out of the way. Shut it off here. 
And we'll jump in the T8. Right. Now, see there, it sounds a little pipey and deep when you start it up. Get this going here. We'll give it a spin for a little bit. How does that sound? It'll probably be the worst cultivating of a field you've seen in a long time if you've been watching farming simulator videos, but that's all right because we can hire a worker and they'll fix everything for us, hopefully. I do like the look of the rear duels with the front singles. I'm glad that that got changed because when I initially got the game you could only get duels all the way around or singles all the way around. So it is definitely nice to have the rear duels because that's an American thing more I think than European where they run duels front and back. I wish they did have more Americanized things for the game but it's still a good game nevertheless. So I think we will if I cultivate this field and get the combine going on the next field, I think I might just set the T8 loose with the planter. And then when it has the planter, I can get this field done and then I can get started in the next field right away. That's part of the problem is I probably could have a little bit bigger equipment in here. Okay, we're just going to overlap a little bit there, but a little bit bigger equipment so that it didn't feel like I was chasing my tail all the time. Either that or another tractor to pull the planter because I really do want to keep the dudes far on the green wagon. But with almost 500,000 right now, I think we're gonna wait on a tractor because we did want to expand this field up farther. We'll see what happens towards the end of this here. Getting the dutes far here again. And we will try and grab some more soybeans out of the combine so it can keep going. And then, depending on how things go, we might end up with nearly enough that we can take a run over to the storage bins. And just a thought, I might have to buy another storage bin because I think my maximum is 300,000 and I'm pretty sure I'm going to have over 300,000 liters after all this is done. Alrighty folks, we're getting towards the end here. Hope you enjoyed that little intermission there, a little music break. But I think before I bore you to death with this, we're going to take a moment and we will let things get going. And mainly I just wanted to show you the new tractors and we'll hopefully get another video out here soon. I've been having some troubles with the recording software and the audio recording software because I had to split it apart now because my audio wasn't coming out good. But anyway, with any hope, things should be getting sorted out and things should be easier. So thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Subscribing is really important now because I want to hit a thousand subscribers before the end of the year.